In John chapter 5, Jesus heals a man at the Bethesda pool. Now this man was paralyzed, forget this, 38 years. And he believed that he can only be healed if the waters in the pool were stirred and then he was the first one to jump in. So what is this pool all about? Well, in Aramaic, Bethesda means house of mercy. And according to John 5, it was located in Jerusalem by the Sheep Gate. Now this puts the pool outside of the city walls, just north of the temple. Now its proximity to the temple means that it actually could have been something called a mikvah. And this is a pool that is used for ceremonial washings. Now the pool was discovered in the late 1800s, so up until then, well, some scholars question the historical accuracy of the Bible, especially because John says that the pool had five shaded colonnades or porticos. So how could this be? What are there like five sides to the pool? How does this work? Well, the archeological discovery in the late 1800s and well, especially the excavation in 1964 showed that not only was this pool real, but it's totally possible to have the five colonnades. See, it was a rectangle with a dam in the middle, making it five walls to have five shaded colonnades. Now, the reason for this is because Bethesda was actually two pools connected. The first or the northern pool goes all the way back to probably the 8th century BC, whenever they built a dam to create a reservoir. Then the second or the southern pool was added later, and then the dam was in the middle, and it can be lowered to bring the water from the northern pool, from the northern pool to refill the southern pool. Now Jesus' miracle here destroys any sort of superstition and proves that it's only through Jesus that we can experience a healing. So there you go. A little bit about the Bethesda pool, and that's enough today for our historical minute.